Stars can't celebrate the great Welcome to Rising Star. This is the beginning of your journey to becoming an NBA legend. And it all starts with the Take Flight Showcase. Put on a show for the scouts, and you'll definitely get drafted. Once you're on an NBA team, you'll begin earning skill points for getting high grades, putting up solid stats, and completing career milestones. Spend these points to improve your key skills, which will then boost your overall rating and move you up on the depth chart at your position. Play well, and you'll be a starter in no time. Throughout your journey, see how many awards and achievements you've earned in a career accomplishment screen. Now that you know what this mode is all about, it's time to pick your play style. Are you a pass-first point guard like Chris Paul or a high flyer like his teammate Blake Griffin? There are many different paths to become a legend. How would you take flight? Yeah, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. You are witnessing the creation of my slashing small forward David Carter, number 87. Yeah, I said it. But check it out, man. We're about to hop into the player info, and I want to just point out one big thing here, guys. NBA Live has got it right. And what I mean by that is every person in the world wants to have their city as where they're from. Now, this is the first game ever that I have seen Chester, PA being a city that you can choose to be from. Now, of course, everybody knows I'm from Chester, PA. No, I am not from Philadelphia. I'm from Chester. And being able to have that is insane. This right here, like this game, like literally having that option really makes me respect it more. Now, hopping into the appearance side, they do not have the game face feature. I don't know if they're going to have the game face feature. All I know is that you can only pick from about 20 heads, which they had the same type of feel in NHL 15. But one thing that you can't choose is facial hair. But let's hop into these tattoos real quick. Now, we all know that I'm a tattoo guy. I have about 26 tattoos on my body in real life. Now, with NBA Live, you can pick a shoulder piece, a forearm piece, or the entire sleeve, which means you can have a variety of tattoos on two different arms. No, you can't have neck tattoos and leg tattoos, but you can have sleeves, which a lot of people like. A lot of people keep telling me, hey, man, Where's the sleeve tattoos in other games? Well, guess what? Live got sleeve tattoos. Now, check it out. For the accessories, I noticed that I can only wear Jordan shoes, which, of course, you know, I'm about to play in that Jordan showcase soon. But here go some key skills. I noticed when you put the weight up on your player, certain attributes change. Your speed decreases, your vertical decreases, and your dribbling decreases. Now, the reason for this is because you are now a heavier player. If you want to make a small forward about 6'9", beast, 250 pounds, just know, starting out the gate, he won't be that fast, he won't have that high of a vertical, and he won't have the best dribbling. Now, what I'm doing here is, raising the weight now if you go to weight 204 from there every 10 pounds you pack on you get a decrease in speed and vertical and dribble but i'm thinking that 204 is like an okay weight but you lose the contact shot so if you're a person that likes contact dunk starting out early and you want to poster a couple people starting out in the game, I don't think that 204 pounds should be your initial weight. I think that you should go with, uh, if you're about 6'9", I would say 214 to 224. No more than that. You know, you can be a muscular looking guy. You won't be skinny and slender like Kevin Durant. You can actually choose from being very muscular, muscular, thin, uh, average, and I think uh, I think it's not not skinny, but I think it's like uh, like lean or something like that. You can be like extremely skinny, but trust me, I wasn't gonna pick that. So uh, at the weight that I'm gonna be choosing, I decided to put my guy at uh, muscular so that he'll be small, but he'll be cut up. Now my dunk. At a 79, you know, I'm pretty hype about it. You know, I noticed that after I created this and, you know, I put all the settings in and did everything, you know, of course, I'm going to try to play on Superstar. That is the highest difficulty in NBA Live. <laughs> so just to let you guys know, Superstar is the highest difficulty in NBA Live. 
Now, I'm going to be playing, uh, I think, in the Jordan. I forgot what it's called. I think it's like the Jordan Showcase or something like that before you get drafted. Now, what I did notice is that I am like a 78 overall at the creation. So, as soon as you create your player and you choose how you want to make them, you can probably go up to about a 78, maybe 79. You never know. But my guy is 78 overall. Now, uh, I wanted to spit some information to you guys. I wanted to let you know that I will be live streaming NBA Live 15 tonight. Um, this video is prior to the servers cutting on because I know that they're going to be doing uh, server maintenance before the game actually drops. So I'm not sure if it's going to be like a day one patch, a big day one upgrade. You know, I'm not totally sure. But my game is fully installed, which you can see here. I've already went through the tutorial. I've played the NBA playoffs matchup with uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Thunder. So I uh, hope to see you guys over on Twitch later on. Peace out, y'all. Yeah.